PT dentistry student will serve at least 10 years in prison after being found guilty of preparing to commit an act of terror. Mohammed Awan researched extremist content online and had downloaded a video with instructions on kidnapping and firing weapons. Now, the judge said he was undoubtedly a risk to the public, though counter-terrorism police say it isn't known precisely what he was planning. Tom Ingle was in court. Summer 2017, counter-terrorism police raid two properties, one a flat in central Sheffield, the other a family home in Huddersfield. Both are connected to 24-year-old Mohamed Owan, a student dentist. At Sheffield Crown Court today, he was sentenced to 10 years in prison for possessing terror-related material and planning an act of terror. We welcome today's sentence and we hope it acts as a deterrent to others. Awan is an intelligent man and ultimately responsible for his own actions. During the trial, the jury heard Mohammed's elder brother Rizwan Awan killed 30 people in a suicide bomb attack in Iraq in 2016. Mohammed, the defence said, was effectively groomed and radicalised by Rizwan. On a memory stick recovered in the raids, police found a document called How to Survive in the West, described in court as a guidebook to establishing a sleeper cell. A 30-minute video with instructions on kidnapping, beheading and firing weapons was also recovered. Awan purchased 500 ball bearings and downloaded information about how to use them in an attack. Passing sentence, the judge addressed Awan directly. He said, I am completely satisfied that you adopted an outwardly respectable and innocent persona with a view to committing a terrorist act in the future. It is fortunate that the police picked up your activities at an early stage. What you would have gone on to do had you remained undetected will thankfully never be known. This was an intelligence-led operation and we acted quickly to deal with the threat posed. We rely on those that have concerns about family, friends, work colleagues, etc. to contact the police. Leaving court at an earlier hearing, Awan's family said the student had paid for the actions of his brother. As he is sent down tonight, he leaves, in the judge's words, respectable, caring parents with barely imaginable devastation. Both of their sons lost to Islamic extremism. Thank you very much for listening tonight, you know. Awan has issued a statement saying he abhors and condemns all forms of terrorism and he intends to appeal his conviction. Tom Ingle, BBC Look North, Sheffield Crown Court. Well, Dr. Afshin Shahi, a lecturer in international relations from Bradford University, is with us now. Um, Awan was a trainee dentist, an intelligent man. His um, brother was also radicalised. How are people who are seemingly educated being brainwashed in this way? This is actually a very uh, interesting case because there are enough evidence in place uh, to uh, suggest that if you are connected to somebody who is an extremist, you are way more likely to go through the journey of radicalization yourself. So in this case, kind of your personal ties and your social networks are as important, if not more important than other variables like education and uh, economic uh, status. Because time and time again, we make a lot of references to the importance of uh, education. We often say that those people who have nothing to lose, they may actually go through this journey of radicalization. Mm. But this case actually proved exactly the opposite. There were a lot going for this young man. He was actually getting educated in one of the best universities uh, in the world. Uh, and yet, despite the fact that it, there were a lot going for him, he decided to kind of undertake this very dark journey uh, of uh, radicalization. It would seem, would it not, that the police are, are getting very good at intercepting this kind of thing early on, or the counter-terrorism unit as well? Uh, I think they always have been good. I mean, we only talking about kind of the security establishment when there is kind of a major uh, kind of incident and major atrocity. And of course, uh, one neglect and one mistake are one far uh, too many. But at the same time, a lot of people don't realize about the fact that actually hundreds and hundreds uh, of plots uh, have been uh, prevented uh, over the last uh, few years as well. Well, the arrests that we saw yesterday in our area, do you think we'll ever get to the bottom of what they were plotting? 
Uh, I mean, it is too early to say that. I mean, uh, they haven't provided uh, much, uh, much details. But perhaps within the next uh, few weeks, there will be more uh, kind of clarity. But at this stage, it is just possible to guess that they were targeting some crowded places around city centres. This is exactly the pattern that we have been uh, kind of seeing over the last uh, few years, particularly at this very uh, sensitive and symbolic part of the year, Christmas time. Of course, we should say it was an alleged target. Uh, so thank you for yeah. joining us. Dr. Shah, thank you very much indeed. Thousands of women are demonstrating in Parliament Square this evening, calling on the government to take action on period...